All right, we're here to go ahead and do a video on how to install RAM. Um, <clears throat> I've done the videos for the motherboard and the CPU, uh, and also the unboxing of the RAM. So we'll be using some Corsair Vengeance RAM that I have, and this Asus uh, Maximus board. So you can see that we have four actual DIMM slots here uh, for the RAM to fit into. Now, depending upon the amount of RAM you're putting in, you want to check with your motherboard to make sure what slots you're putting in. I'll be putting in a full 32 gigs, so we'll take up all four of these. And you can see on the right side here, we have these connections that move back and forth. On the left side, it is stable and it doesn't actually move. We insert a, a stick into this. It'll actually close on the right-hand side. We're just going to push down with our thumbs on the corners on each side. And that'll go ahead and get the RAM to install. So here's the RAM we're using, our Corsair Vengeance RAM. Now with the RAM, you can see that we have a little cutout slot here. We want to make sure that this fits correctly when we insert it into the motherboard. So let's tell you what direction the RAM goes in. See that it faces outwards. You can see the left side is longer than the right side. We do not have a CPU cooler installed. I find it a little bit easier to install RAM without having that in yet. Um, <clears throat> it can also work the other way as well, depending upon the cooler that you have. Maybe easier to install that first before you install the RAM. So it's basically just inserting it straight down into the slot. You want to make sure that the left and right side are put into the guide slots correctly. And it'll kind of sit almost even into the motherboard. And basically, you're going to take your thumbs and press down on either side. And you'll see it clip into place. Let me give you a little bit different view. Get a little bit closer. I'm going to show, it, show you exactly what I'm talking about. Go ahead and insert it directly down. So you can see it's a little off-center, so I'll go ahead and seat it together. Go ahead and press down. You'll see the clip on the right side here starting to press into the cutout. You get to press fairly firmly to get it to sit correctly. You'll see that the pin is all the way in. Once that has completed, you'll know that it's correctly seated into the slot. You can see the cutout right here that it's fitting into. Now, if we want to remove the RAM, all we have to do is pull this slot back. You'll see it'll almost eject it a little bit. We can go ahead and pull directly up. You may have to wiggle it back and forth just a little bit to get it to come out. Some can be a little bit more sticky than others. We're going to go ahead and insert all four sticks into the board. So we're going to get it right in and push it directly down, pushing on both corners. You may have to use a little bit of force. You'll see it'll click into its correct spot. You can see that it's nice and firm in there. The same thing with our second stick. We'll go ahead and insert our third. And see that the pins are closing into the gap. And here's our fourth stick for all 32 gigs to be installed. This is a little bit trickier, so we're going to give it a little bit more force. We're not pressing excessively hard. If you want to see the next video in this build, go ahead and hit the link below in the description. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I'll do what I can to go ahead and answer those for you. Thanks for watching.